agreed. Nothing can live there, no creatures, no trees. Poisonous clouds of acid above. Why was it named for the goddess of love? Clouds by Matthew Sidorovich, Nate Eck, and Jason Perda. Sirius straddles from particular two, but which is which we cannot tell who. We sit there lying on the ground, just staring up at all those clouds. We ponder and our minds just wander, but we still cannot tell who is who. The heights, the textures, the shapes, oh poo, we still can't tell who is who. Until that fatal day at class, I thought my brain had turned to glass. And then it shattered when I thought that knowing all the clouds don't matter. Divide the year into season four, subtract the snow, then add some more. A breeze, a bud, a breeze, a whispering behind the trees. And here beneath the rains from sky, pouring coffees multiply. How to my people in the garden, what? Say, what if we too, she insisted, could stick together? He resisted. Their North Pole's jitterbugged and may have touched, but quickly pushed away. And so they tried to make a start from south to south, still far apart. Turning around and facing north, she threw her little metal forth. Kathlump, those two engaging ships were stuck like barnacles to ships. Scientific Method at the Bat by John Sheska. My outlook wasn't brilliant for my experiment that day. The only way to graduate was come up with an A. So when my lab exploded and turned a blackish chunk, my chance of passing anything went titanic, you know, sunk. I sat and sadly watched the clock. Cursed to be alive. It would take a miracle. No make that too. Get me to grade five. But then I had an, a brainstorm, an idea so terrific, I just had to use those words from the method scientific. I grab my pen and get to work. You should see my look. I slowly write hypothesis, observation in my book. And now the class bell rings, and now I lose or win. With one mighty plop, I hand my lab book in. Oh, somewhere in science class, hypotheses are made. Uh, and experiments are conducted. Kids move up a grade. Oh, somewhere conclusions are concluded without a bit of doubt. But my there's no joy in this class. My results got me flunked out. Sammy's head is pounding. Sammy's in pain. A long division problem got stuck in his brain. Call the locksmith. Call the engineer. Call the plumber to suck out his ear. Call the brain surgeon to pry out the mess. Call out the Coast Guard SOS. Because uh, Sammy's head is pounding. Sammy's in pain. A long division problem got stuck in his brain. I'm gonna vote. What a science by Rebecca Kai Dodgeland. What a science. So many things. The study of stars, Saturn's ring. Study of rocks, Jesus stone, of dinosaur fossils, and ocean chip bones. The study of soil, oil and gas, of sea and sky, of seed and grass, of wind and hurricanes, that blow, of wind and tornadoes, earthquakes, snow. What is science? The study of trees, of butterflies, and killer bees, glaciers and geysers, clay and sand, 
the mighty mountains, the rolling land, the power of trains, plays that soar, science is this, and so much more. So into the earth and into the sky, we question, question the how, where, when, and why. Asleep, asleep. It's science class. I'm asleep. Goes Mr. Newton's pointer on the blackboard. And that, my scientist, is the solar system. Test of all on the planet. Class dismissed. Awake, awake. I'm awake. I'm thinking in regular sentences. My science verse is cured. When I heard a scary yapping, frightful words worse than a slapping, worse than twenty T-Rex roars. Said our teacher, heartless preacher, my class, you know, always as poor as tenfold weeds of dinosaurs. Pterodactyls and gasaurus on an unassimilable course. Elementary stuff to Boris. No more. We beg. She ignores. She smiles. They were reptiles. Locks the windows, bolts the doors. Don't you just love? It's an ocean. 